So this is the Zybo Z7-20 board. I'm going to turn this on. You can see the, the uh, NIC is about to go up. You'll see lights near the uh, RJ45 connector. That means we're up, so you can see on the screen. I'm going to SSH into the board. So I'm in. Uh, here it's 1920 by 1080 it's uh, RGB that's why there's a pixel length of 3 and so right now I'm going to turn on the video test pattern generator and I have some options here um, I can select any one of them and the video test pattern generator in the programmable logic will start outputting that pattern to uh, the programmable system side via VDMA. So we'll pick um, the tartan color bars, TCB. Now I can uh, select P to actually see the pattern that is being generated. And I'm going to go to a new tab here, and I'm going to go to the board again. And I'm going to start the web server. So now the web server is running. I can go over here on my computer, and I can type in the IP address of the Zybo board. And then here in a second, you'll see the image from the video test pattern generator pop up. In addition to that, I can also, on my phone, uh, go into the IP address of the Zybo board. And uh, I'll be able to get the video test pattern generator output on this as well. So let's try a different uh, test pattern. So we can go back here. And let's try the checkerboard here. We can do P for print, and uh, it's a slightly different pattern you can see. So let's go back to the web browser. And then with my phone as well. It takes a second to, to update. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the switch off, which indicates to the programmable logic not to use the video test pattern generator anymore. We are going to plug in an HDMI cable on this side. And on the laptop, we are going to plug into HDMI output. Here you saw the light, um, which is hot plug detection, is the, the HDMI was detected, and now um, if I type in P for print, here you can see that there's a bunch of random numbers, it's basically the RGB values from the laptop screen, which is over there, and now I can go into the IP address, the board, and it and the laptop screen will be streaming via VDMA over to the PS side where the web browser is displaying it. And I can also view it on my phone as well. So the next thing that we're going to do is disconnect the HDMI from the laptop, plug in this adapter, and plug this side into the GoPro, turn on the GoPro, so 
So uh, we can also print the stream as well. It looks very similar to the laptop screen output. And then we can go to the IP address of the board again. And also with my phone. 